In this video, we have traveled to Las Vegas to try burgers at three different price points. From a very affordable burger that pushes the boundaries of what a burger even is. I don't know how I'm gonna wrap my face around this. To a very medium burger, a calorie bomb at the Heart Attack Grill. I mean, where do you even begin with something like this? Finally, we'll finish it off with the most expensive burger we could find here in the city of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, the Whale Burger. Now with real pieces of whale. This is the city of sin. Drinking, gambling, maybe paying women to do fun activities. I don't know, it's your business. Don't involve me in it. But it's also a place for gluttons like me. Do you like food? Do you like a lot of it? Well, they've got that here, especially when it comes to burgers. Let's get started. So we have come to our first location right behind me, Jonga Sushi Bar. This is our affordable burger location. But at $17, I'm not exactly sure I would call this burger affordable. I'm also not sure if I'd call it a burger. I mean, the buns are made out of rice. Well, I'm gonna go inside now and talk to the manager to find out more. Right now I'm here with Michael of Jonga Sushi Bar. Put her there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Let's talk about the menu. How would sure. you describe the food you're serving here? It is a Japanese restaurant, but it is clearly Korean influenced as well. Our owners are Korean. We have a mixture of traditional sushi items, but we also do some kitchen items. Of course, some of the things that we do that are a little more unique here. Sushi burgers, sushi pizza. We do a sushi tower. I like to just call it our sushi nonsense menu. Is a sushi burger a burger? Yes. And no, I mean, it's not a hamburger. It's not a beef patty, but in that it has a pair of buns with some meat, condiments, and all sorts of other goodness uh, stacked in between it. That has piqued my interest. From here, I wanna go inside to see how this creation is actually formed and put together. Let's go. All right, guys, we have our rice bun on the bottom. The first step is to put some lettuce on top. Here we have the spicy tuna, a disc of spicy crab being put on next, then a seaweed salad, then some spicy mayo, and then right here, some eel sauce. Hit it with another rice bun, and that one is ready to go but today we're gonna try two more. Guys, you ever make a plan and then you see some delicious food and then your plans change? Well, that's what happened here. I was gonna start with just the Jonga burger. For $17, this is like a sumo wrestler and all of Japanese cuisine gave birth to something magical. But you know what's even better than that? Three different burger experiences. This is the slider sampler. For $19, you get three different sliders, the Jonga, the Karai burger, and then right here, the Bulgogi burger. Let's try them all out. So this is our Jonga burger. Let's go for it. No, it's coming apart. I have to drink the paint away. <laughs> I feel better now. Wow, that fried rice is super crunchy. Incredibly addictive. The seaweed salad, very nice. As for the inside, the spicy tuna, the spicy crabs, well, they're now the outsides. What was a little bit jarring is that all the ingredients inside are quite cold, but the bun is a little bit warm. So it's an interesting mixture of temperatures. That was just slider number one. Right here we have the karai. First it gets a slice of cucumber. Fantastic. And it was some iceberg lettuce, spicy tuna. Then we have a soft shell crab mix, and then raw salmon. This is called screaming orgasm sauce. And that one's complete. This one has almost a smoky taste to it. Plenty of that salad in there. You got a lot of fish. Oh, there's cucumber too. I almost completely forgot because it's such a thin slice. I'm thinking just to get a thin layer like this and treat it like an open face sandwich. Crunchy, delicious, soft, delicate salmon. A stack of salads on top of each other. So far, creativity, a nine. Handleability, a two. Right here, the bulgogi slider. Hit it with a little bit of lettuce, crab meat, thin slices of avocado going on top. Then hit it with some Korean bulgogi. With some yum yum sauce and some eel sauce. Finally, put the lid on top and that one is also ready to go. Now some of that has already been coming out. I'm gonna try just that alone. Oh, that's good. Soft, succulent, sweet. It's got a, like a thick gravy in there. Okay. This right here is the best one. I got like all the salad because it's squeezed out to the edge. It's basically mock crab and mayonnaise. A great combination. It looked great on camera. When I tried to put it in my mouth, that's when everything went south. Who is this person's hands in the camera view? So this is our first burger of the day. But next we're cranking up the calories and we're cranking up the price at the Heart Attack Grill in Las Vegas. Let's go. We have come to our second location, our most medium priced burger. This here is the Heart Attack Grill. The Heart Attack Grill makes a point to serving food that is very unhealthy and high in fat, sugar, and cholesterol. In other words, food that if eaten frequently will cause a heart attack. But first, before we go in, we have to weigh ourselves. Because if you weigh over 350 pounds, you eat free. The scale is right here. I'm a little bit scared. 223? Sadly, 223 is not gonna get me there. Today, I'll have to be paying my own money. 
We have just entered the restaurant and right now we're going to a mandatory changing station. You have to wear a hospital gown while you're here. Oh. And that's around for me. Last time I put on a gown like this, a man put his finger up. Anyways, I don't want to talk about it. We're now heading to our seat. You can see this place has a wild hospital theme. They have a giant thermometer right here. With a thermometer like that, you can check Godzilla's temperature regularly. All right, we've got our menu right here. This used to be the maximum, the quadruple bypass, but now it goes all the way to an octuple. That is eight patties. I'm just gonna do four patties, but I'm gonna add 20 slices of bacon. It looks amazing, let's try it out. While I wait for my quadruple bypass, I'm stepping outside with longtime heart attack grill server, Ricky. Ricky, put her there. Nice to meet you. So you've been here 12 years. This place is amazing. When did it get started? So it actually started in 2005 in Arizona. That's when he started fighting anorexia. He was there for a couple years and he moved here 13 years. Ago. By he, we're talking about the big guy, the boss. Dr. John Basso. I'm curious how things have changed over time because maybe 350 seemed like a lot in the past, but maybe he has to change it to 450. We are still at 350. We do see a lot more 350 individuals, but we love it. Gets their family in there. People get a free show out of it. So I don't know if we're going to change the 350 rule, but we have had to up our portions. Honestly, it is kind of crazy. People started to finish the quadruple. So now we have doubled that to the octuple. So it is almost 20,000 calories. All right. Because I used to be a big boy, but maybe I peaked at about 300. So I guess I'll have to pay my own money. Cash, by the way, because- You uh, might die before the check clears. Right, it has nothing to do with taxes. No. No. Nothing. Well, if it's your time to go, it's nice to do so with a full stomach. Back in the restaurant, I'm being treated to my first drink. I mean, syringe. All right, I've got some medication. Enjoy. Thank you. This is wild. It's a strawberry lemonade. And there's other stuff in there too to make you feel good. I'm not just talking sugar. This is boozy. I like it. Alas, our burger has come. That thing is gigantic. Here's your 9,982 calorie plus oh, That is going to be a bit of a challenge. Thank you so much. Ready for your spanking. Right, so here's the thing. If you don't finish your food, they give you a spanking in front of everybody. It's like a public shaming for not having a big enough belly. Let's start small. Over here, we've got some cheese sticks. It's a fat person's carrot sticks. Cheers. Mmm, that's really good. It's got literal cheese juice inside just leaking out. But let's talk about this. The construction is amazing. Only two buns, and then you can see layer by layer, there is tomato, onion, bacon, cheese. Oh, these are not some thin McDonald's cheeseburger patties. These are big patties, plus some bacon. Mm. And it's nice, it's thick, it's crispy. All right, let's go for the middle bite. Mmm. Oh, those are great patties, super delicious. The cheese is kind of melted and coagulated as it's dripped down here. I feel like I have to take it apart a little bit because I want a full burger experience. So here we have one layer, bread, onion, tomato, bacon, cheese, and burger patty. Mm, but this tastes legitimately good. So, well. So that's the burger and that's how it tastes. Well, let's talk about the price. The quadruple bypass is $23.21. It's basically a little more than $5 per patty. To add 20 pieces of bacon, it's under $4. So altogether, the price is this. That's ridiculously cheap in the city of sin. My goal from here is to eat the rest of this. Otherwise, I will be publicly humiliated. And that is something I will absolutely not stand for. Failure is not an option. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it's not just the sound effect. Thank you. Oh, I'm sweating. It hurts way more than you think. It seemed like a fun joke. I should have just ran away without paying. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our third and final location, our most expensive location behind me. Slater's 5050. What does the name mean? Well, I don't know. I'll ask the owner soon. But we have come here for a $135 burger, the whale burger, a burger that's not even on the menu. So how do you order it? Actually, you have to find your way to the secret menu in order to discover what this burger is all about. Let's go inside and do just that. Bacon, burgers, beer. All right, so somewhere around here, there's a secret hidden menu. The owner told me where it was already. I'll show you, it's over here. Hidden in this whale tail, you'll find a QR code. Aim your camera at it, click the link, and it will reveal a secret website. Congrats, you have found the whale. As you scroll down, the menu will reveal the whale burger right here. For me, I wanna learn more about this burger and how it came to be. I'm gonna talk to the owner right now before we head into the kitchen. Boom, I'm with Andy of Slater's 5050. Sir, it's nice Hi. to meet you. Excited to be here. Slater's 5050, where does the name come from? Our founder. 
Scott Slater, he made bacon patties when he was in college. They were catching fire. Every time he tried to cut them, and so eventually one day when he wanted to open a restaurant, he made the 50-50 patty, which is 50% Angus beef, 50% ground bacon in the patty. Wow, that sounds incredible. I, I kind of want to switch to that now. <laughs> <laughs> but we are not here for that today. We are here for something else, the whale burger. Right here we have soda water hitting some tempura flour. This is what will be used to fry up that lobster. $135, how do we get there to that price? Uh, first, we start with great ingredients. It is a gold dusted brioche bun, Italian truffle cheese that we import in. We're the only place on the West Coast that has this truffle cheese. It's a six ounce fried lobster tail in tempura batter. And then Australian Wagyu beef, there's a pound of that on this burger. And with that, it comes with a Moet Chandon champagne. And so it's a fantastic value for what the product is. Put the lobster tail into the tempura batter and let it chill. Now we have our two half pound Wagyu Australian patties. And hit it with some salt and pepper. Right here we have our brioche bun. Hit it on the butter wheel, put it on the flat top. Next, three slices of bacon, a little more salt and pepper, and these are looking juicy. Next, we're gonna have a gold dusting. But he's gotta scoop the gold into the gold sprayer. This is how rich people shoot heroin. It's so much better than gold flakes. It just puts a nice even sheen on top of everything. Right here, we have our lobster tail about to head into that bubbling hot oil. So a lot of people wonder, for other casual, normal folks coming to Vegas, are they really coming here to try the whale burger? Absolutely, so right now we sell about 20 to 30 of them a week. We're not trying to be a strip casino with the most expensive thing out there. We're trying to serve a great product, and that's what started the whale burger first. Right here, our lobster tail is complete. Here we've got the truffle cheese. Right here we have the in-house made bacon jam being spread onto the bottom bun. The top bun gets a hit of garlic aioli. Now that we have our ingredients ready, it is time for the bill. That's not luxury arugula, is no, it? No, okay, that's fine. Baby arugula. Sure, it's like the veal of arugula. We've got that cheese perfectly melted. Burger patties coming in hot. Two golden slices of bacon put on top. Baby arugula next. Then tempura fried lobster tail and that golden bun on top. That thing is a monstrosity. The final piece of bacon goes on top and that whale burger is complete. Ladies and gentlemen, the whale burger. Now with real pieces of whale. Ah, uh, that's not true. Let's take a tour of this experience. First of all, french fries. Second of all, a card. A certification proof that you came here to Slater's 50 50 and you try the whale burger. Think of it like a black card. It's proof that you're rich. Then right here we have our champagne, but then you have the star of the show right here, the burger. Let's get started. We're gonna unravel the bacon on top. Bacon that's been dusted in gold. Oh yeah, that's good. Rich, smoky, decadent. It's sweet and savory at the same time. I now need to cleanse my palate. Let's open this baby. <laughs> Cheers. Exquisite, delicious, clean, tasty, bubbly, refreshing. Now, alas, the burger. Andy said I need to take out the knife, and then I need to smash the whole thing down and take one big bite. Oh, I feel so bad smashing you, buddy, but here we go. Pick it up and go for it. <laughs> oh, that was pure lobster, which was absolutely delicious. I mean, it's getting pretty tough to appear elegant while eating this burger. The Wagyu beef is so juicy, tender. There's a thick, heavy, juicy bacon. There's baby arugula. The buns are nice and soft. And then the lobster is awesome. Life tax. Right here, we have that truffle cheese. Oh. Every time you take a different bite, you get a different experience. That was so truffly and cheesy and delicious and gooey. The only thing left for me to do now is to go outside and tell you which burger I think gave me the most bang for my buck. Let's go. Boom, and that is the end of this video. Guys, today we tried three different burgers here in Las Vegas at three different price amounts of money. Now it's time to choose which was my absolute favorite. I gotta say they each brought something to the table. For our first location, they were using rice buns as patties. No, for our first location, they were using fried rice as buns. For our second location, it was a more standard burger, but they had a crazy theme around it. I have bruising and scarring on my butt. And here, of course, they elevated the cheeseburger to new heights. But which burger gave me the most bang for my buck? My favorite today came from the Heart Attack Grill. Maybe it's because they do basically one kind of burger, and the only variation is the number of levels, but man, they really have that recipe down. The burger patties were properly seasoned, thick but not too thick, nice melty cheese, perfect crunchy bacon, soft, buns. The only thing I didn't like about that location is they didn't have Diet Coke. Is That is just my humble opinion, but let me know what you thought. Which burger would you like most to try next time you come to Las Vegas? Otherwise, guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace. All right. I got serious bruising on my backside. I, I'm going to have to go there again and order an even bigger burger. Introducing Best Ever Coffee. I've traveled all over the world and no country has created a better coffee experience than Vietnam. 
why I partnered up with the local coffee experts at Lacoff to bring Vietnam's satisfying coffee experience right to your kitchen. Order now using the link below to receive this bold blend of Robusta and Arabica, a fin filter to brew the coffee, and a tube of sweetened condensed milk to add the perfect hit of sweetness. This isn't just coffee, this is an experience.